Oi friends, today we're going to be exporting our FPS arms from Blender and we're going to be importing into Unity. First things first, we need to set a good origin point. The way we made our FPS arms makes it so our origin point is right here and our arms are here. Now if you try and rotate this, you can see how it looks. And if we tried rotating our FPS arms in Unity, this, this is how it would look as well. And this is not a good motion for, for the FPS arms. So what we have to do is move our origin point to the center of the arms. And that's quite easy to do. You can just grab your armature with right click, press G and a Z if your orientation is a global. And then just move it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be around this point. And then what you can do is go to object in the top left, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now if you rotate, you can see that we get a good rotation. Also, since Blender and Unity use different metric systems, you have to press RX minus 90. RX minus 90 will rotate the uh, model 90 degrees backwards. This is actually, this is actually normal rotation in Unity, because if you press N, you can see that currently rotation is minus 90 degrees. And if you imported this in, into Unity, default rotation would be minus 90 on the X. And you want, it, you want everything to be zeroed out, uh, except the scale, which you want to be 1. So you have to apply it. You can do that by pressing Control A and then applying the rotation. Also, make sure your scale is 1, 1, 1. If it's not, also press Control A and apply the location. Or sorry, the scale. And also you can apply the location just to make sure it's 0, 0, 0. Okay, now you're going to grab your uh, armature here and then shift left click the model make sure everything is selected and then you can go file export fbx and now find a position or the location for the model i'm gonna put mine into a fbx folder uh, name it low poly arms you want to make sure you click selected objects only that's going to make sure that it only exports what we selected and nothing else from the scene. You want to export the armature and the mesh. For example, if you were exporting a chair or a table, you would only select mesh. If you hold shift and left click, you can select multiple. And down here in the scaling, you have to change all local to FBX unit scale. And then you can just click export. This will work both for the low poly and the high poly arms. It should be the same. And now we're going to import this into Unity. Open up Unity Hub. If you still haven't downloaded this, uh, just a quick Google search should do it. And then you will need to install a Unity version. You can add it here from installs. I will be using Unity 2021.1.7. Uh, I believe there's a newer one, but anything above uh, Unity 2019 should work. So we're going to create a new project here. Click New in the Projects. I'm going to name mine FPS Tutorial, YouTube, you name yours, whatever you want. Find a location for yours. And also make sure you select Universal Render Pipeline. This is not necessary, but this will allow you later on to add some shaders with Shader Graph, which is quite easy for beginners and you will not have to do any code. So just select Universal Render Pipeline. I'll go High Definition RP if you want some crazy ass visuals. Um, but I'm going to be selecting Universal Render Pipeline and click Create. And now we just got to wait for it to open. Once Unity has opened, you should see something like this. We don't need all of these things, so we're going to delete some. This readme file, you can read it and then delete it. We're not going to need the tutorial info. The settings here are the settings for the uh, Render Pipeline and some other things, so just don't touch that. Scripts have a simple character controller, which we, which we don't need, sorry. So you can delete that as well. There's one scene saved, which is this sample scene. You can leave that, we're going to need it. For the presets, uh, this is for some audio, so you can delete the presets as well. Materials only have a skybox, so we no need to delete that. And example assets, we can delete as well. From the scene, you can delete everything except the main camera and the directional light. And this should be a good setup for now. And you can just press Ctrl S to save it, just to make sure everything stays here. 
All right, so for the assets, I'm gonna create a new folder in the project view, which I'm gonna call resources. And in there, I'm gonna create a new folder for FBX. All right, this is where all our FBX files are gonna go. And in here, I'm just gonna drag my uh, FPS arms. All right, so I'm gonna take my low poly arms, drag them in here. If you click on them, you will have a lot of settings here. First things first, if you uh, click this little arrow, it will tell you what it has in here. It has a model, armature, uh, the mesh data, and the, the material. Now we don't want the material from Blender, so what you can do is click it, or click the, the actual FBX, go to this tab, materials, and change import via material description to none, because we're gonna create our own material in here. For the animation, we're not gonna be importing anything from here. So you can unclick that, make sure you apply it. The rig is gonna be generic and we're gonna create from this model. Just click apply. Model, uh, there's a couple things you can click off. We're not using any blend shapes. Uh, we're not importing visibility, cameras or lights. So you can uncheck those and click apply. This just makes sure we everything is clean in here and it's just keeping your project clean, which is good. All right, but if you drag this to your hierarchy, you can see they pop in here. And with that, with them selected, you can press F to focus on it. My bad, one mistake I made is I didn't rotate them back in Blender. So once you apply the rotation, you can press, press RX 90 to bring it back, but don't apply the rotation this time. It'll be a 90 here. And by default, we want that. So you can just, uh, you can just export it again uh, like that, my bad completely. And now just delete this one and drag it back in, just like that and repeat the steps. So materials, none, animation, uncheck, rig, generic, create from this model, and the model, uncheck blend shapes, visibility, cameras, and lights, and now it'll be good. All right, you can see the rotation is zero, zero, zero. It's facing the correct uh, direction. The location and scale are as well fine. But you can see it doesn't have any color, uh, so we're gonna have to create some new materials. We're gonna go to our materials tab right here and we're gonna create a new material. This one I'm gonna call base palette. And I'm gonna take it and drag it to the model. You can see it goes completely white, but we need to uh, give it its, or we need to give it our uh, texture. So I saved that one whenever we made it. Again, if you don't know how to save it, you can select it here in the UV editing in Blender, go image, save as, and then save it. Once you did that, you can go back uh, into Unity and just drag it into our materials folder. I'm just gonna drag it in, make sure uh, it's the settings stay the same. You don't have to change anything. And in your material, you can see the base map right here and a little circle right next to it and click that and then you can select the base color palette and you can see everything uh, has color now. As well, if you don't want the color to be a bit reflective, uh, you can change the smoothness to zero. You can see how much difference it makes with the light. I always uh, tend to do that. And you can as well change the base map color if you want maybe a different shade, maybe you want Hulk or Aquaman, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep mine on completely white. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna be creating the FPS controller. And after that, we're gonna create a camera controller. So join me then. This was quite simple and short, so hopefully it helped you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.